Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Please ignore my hair. It's crazy. I'm just going to put it up in pigtails and call it a day. We got so much we've got to do today, including a grocery haul, and I'm so excited to bring you all along with me. In your eyes, girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind, but I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax. All your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know how much I love you? Wanna see you smile? Where's the happy girl that I know with the heart on fire? I'll do anything to make it fun. My skin today is so dry, so a good skincare regimen is very important for me. I'm using the Mary Kay TimeWise 3D set. Those of you that don't know, I am an independent beauty consultant with Mary Kay, so it's the only thing I use, but I absolutely love the skincare set and how moisturized it makes my skin feel. Problems will fade if you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. We are all about the good. Y'all, she just sat there and watched me the entire time. <laughs> She's so cute. Take a morning. Oh. Right off the bat, I see this is going to be one of them days. <laughs> But that's just the real and raw part of being a mom of littles, you know. Not every day is the same. There is no same day. <laughs> Hi, baby. What's your toddler getting upset over this morning? The good vibes. We are all about the good, the good times. The dreaded moment of truth. Let's see where this goes. All about the good vibes, all about the good vibes I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Okay, I've not used this bouncy seat since Sissy was little It was given to me by my sister-in-law But I think he likes it <laughs> Although I about broke a finger trying to put it back together Just, Just throwing that out there grumpy toddler now to pick out our outfit for the day i have started folding my clothes using the konmari method those of you that don't know it look it up it's awesome okay y'all i gotta be honest with you here um <clears throat> those of you that have been Watching my vlogs before, know that I had to deliver my son at 38 weeks due to my blood pressure. I've been having continued blood pressure problems since I had him, like to the point to where my primary care provider actually just added a blood pressure pill to the one that I'm already taking. So now I am taking two different types of medication for my blood pressure to see if we can't stabilize that out. But that also being said, I'm struggling health-wise. I had my lipids 
done yesterday as well, um, which those of you that know what that is, it's like your cholesterol, triglycerides, all that. My cholesterol is high. It is 224, which isn't outrageous. Normal is below 200. But for me, I've never had high cholesterol in my life. So this is definitely new for me. But my triglycerides are especially concerning. They are <clears throat> 247, 247, yeah. And normal is, I think, either it's either 175 or below or 150 and below. I think it's 175, but I'm not sure. But now, I have had elevated triglycerides before, and that basically just <clears throat> has to do with my starch intake, that kind of thing. Which, those of you that know me, I, I'm, a, I'm a potato girl. So is she. She loves her taters. I love my taters. Which is not a good thing. <laughs> Obviously. So, I'm struggling with <clears throat> trying to get to a healthy point in my... I want to say relationship with food. I, I have a love-hate relationship with food. I love it, but I hate how it makes me feel because I always wind up overeating. I have a really bad time controlling how much I eat. Not just in one sitting. I eat very sporadically throughout the day, but what I eat is not good. So, we are trying to control that. She did run some more labs to check like my insulin resistance to see if maybe that might be an issue for me. But, honestly, I need to lose weight. Not just for my health, but for these two. Because I want to be able to keep up with them and play with them and be able to run across the yard with them without feeling like I can't breathe. Which is exactly where I'm at at this point. And I'm having issues with my knee because of the weight that is bore down on my knee. So, when I go upstairs, downstairs, anything that shocks my he the heel of my foot, my knee hurts really bad. And I know that has to do with my weight. So, we are going to work really hard and see if we can't get rid of some of this. And I want you all to help me. I want you all to kind of hold me accountable if you can. Those of you that are on my Instagram, DM me. Be like, hey, how are you doing today? Have you stayed to your diet today? Have you, what have you ate today? You know, just kind of help me because I think that's my biggest problem is I have nobody to help me. <laughs> my husband is a big, big sweets guy. So am I, but I don't need to be. <laughs> so I really just, I, I need an accountability partner. So if that's something I can help you out with too, just reach out to me. I would love to help you and reach our health goals together. There up, baby. <laughs> My goal weight is 175. I am at 229 as of right now, so we'll see what we can do. Good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Let's have a drink. Just relax. All your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard. That's your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. Okay, y'all, we are currently at McDonald's. I'm going to go in and have breakfast with my kiddos today. Um, it's not something I get to do a lot, but I do enjoy my mommy dates with my kids. It is something that I really, really cherish. Yeah, Arabella agrees because Arabella is a foodie and she doesn't know this yet, but she's getting hotcakes. She's not had pancakes in a while, so she should enjoy it. But um, I just want to get your all's input on something. Our clothing situation with our kids is weird. And I just have to say, genetically, that one there got screwed over royally. <laughs> and this is why. Weight-wise, Arabella is a solid 2T all the way like she should be a full 2t but she's not and here's why she like her daddy is really long torso she has a long long torso and like me she has wide hips and short legs and arms so 2t shirts are kind of short on her because she's so long torso so we have to put her in 3t but it's big everywhere else that 
it's not supposed to be. <laughs> like her little arms, we had to roll up her arms. We had to roll up her pant legs because she has such short arms and legs, just like me. But the waistline and the three teeth fits her better. And the, yeah. And the length of the shirt fits her better. So I have a two T girl and a three T world. That's what I'm gonna. <laughs> And honestly, I think Levi's going to be the same exact way because pants, zero to three months fits him really good. Three to six swallows him whole. But as far as actual onesies go, three to six fits him better. And it's even tough to snap a three to six on this kid because he's also long torso, just like his father. Genetics, right? <laughs> She pick up order to get while we're here at Walmart but I do have to go in the store to get a couple things the wick items that I can't add to my grocery list because grocery pickup doesn't do wick for some reason so I just gotta go in and get sissy some milk and get Bubby some formula and then we can get our groceries and go home okay grocery haul time I'm gonna try to get through this as quickly as possible because I have a very unhappy baby who is ready for a bottle again um, we got some Fisher's Pickle Bologna in the back for Brandon. We got Arabella's Lactose-Free Milk, because that's the only milk she can drink. And an angry Arabella to boot. We got a pack of Fisher's Bologna, some honey ham. We have five rolls of ground beef. One package of cookie dough for the kids. Two family sauce Salisbury steak and gravy meals. We have three packages of hot buffalo tuna. Actually, there's four. Take that back. There's four. A pack of taco seasoning mix. Two packs of flour tortillas. We have some chicken over here for fried chicken one night. And we have some cube steaks. Some Idaho and low baked, pota baked potato mashed potatoes. I can't get my words out. <laughs> We have two boxes of cheesy Mexican rice. Those oranges back there we've had for a minute. We have some chicken bite crackers, a pack of salt, three microwavable pepperoni pizzas, a four pack of Rockstar for Brandon, some Viney sausages for Brandon, <laughs> some chili for both Brandon and I. We both like the canned chili. Barbecue potato chips. We have a loaf of bread that I got yesterday, but it is something that we needed. We have three cans of green beans, two cans of sweet peas, and three cans of cream salt corn. I'm addicted to cream salt corn. We have three boxes of Jiffy corn muffin mix, and then we got Brandon snacks the of the fruit variety. And then over here we have our miscellaneous supplies. We have scrub daddy power paste and it comes with a scrub mommy super excited to use that on my shower like unbelievably excited i have two scrub daddy sponges one is for me one is for my mother-in-law because her scrub daddy that i got her for her birthday is now scrub sad so she needs a new one i have some scour daddies for the hard to clean metallic surfaces and places like on my stove and stuff i'm gonna give one of these to my mother-in-law as well I have an ostrich feather duster, which I'm super excited to use. I have the Spray Away glass cleaner and stainless steel cleaner. A stainless steel cleaner is actually going to be used for when I start cleaning houses next week because my first client has stainless steel appliances, so that's where that's going to be used at. And lastly, we have some new bottles for baby, two cans of formula for him, some printer ink for my printer, a pack of paper plates and some 
soda for Brandon. I'm not going to be drinking as much as the, of this. I've actually got a case of um, Fanta Zero Sugar, the mystery flavor down here that I got at Save A Lot for like $1.99 that I absolutely love. But guys, check this out. This is my birthday present. <laughs> my birthday is next. next week so I asked Brandon to get me this vacuum cleaner for my birthday so here we go I'm super excited to use it but that being said I gotta get a baby a bottle all right you guys first off I absolutely love how lightweight this vacuum is and it has the power you'll see what I mean right here in a minute when I go to show you how much it pulled out of my floor I just vacuumed my floor too day before yesterday and there was so much crap down in my floor that I didn't even know was there y'all i want you guys to look at this i literally just vacuumed my floor the other day look how much junk this thing got out of my floor i'm gonna link this vacuum cleaner down below it is on rollback right now at walmart i paid 149 dollars for it but oh my gosh it's awesome i love it here we're just fixing supper tonight we're having something pretty simple we're having hamburger helper with potatoes cream cell corn and sweet peas done and it looks yummy i'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here i hope you all have a wonderful afternoon thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one